It's, well, I, I got CNN on. Uh, I got CNN on the on in the background on mute. And uh, guess what they're talking about? Drakkar. Hello. Hello. Guess what they're Dr talking about? Drakkar Noir, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they're not. January sixth, bro. Oh, really? A day that will live in, uh, live somewhere. What, uh, I, you know, I've said, I've said on the podcast that, uh, that it's, it's been January 7th every day since January 6th, at least on these fucking liberal channels, man. I can't, I, God love you. If you, if you, I know you, you watch those for, for research. And to see what kind of bullshit that they're saying. And God love you. I just don't have the stomach to do it. I, I can barely get through clips that I see on Twitter. You know what I mean? Of uh, of just this. Because it, it's such hogwash. Like, uh, um, you know, uh, MSNBC. It's just, it's just garbage. You know? And I remember, I used to watch it way back. Like, I think it was before Maddow got on there. I would watch Keith Olbermann. And he was always hammering George Bush, uh, and the, over the torture and all that stuff, all the shit he was doing during the, you know, the Gulf War, uh, or the the, the Iraq War, I guess, uh, same thing. Um, but, and then he would, and now, Keith Olbermann, he was, he's not on there anymore, obviously, but. Now Keith Olbermann was like, oh, I miss George Bush and do so much better than Trump. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? You know, there's so many people just like lost their shit. I don't know if it's the the woogie boogie, the big C that's been making people crazy for the last two years or what it is. Or was it Trump? I mean, did Trump, is this long haul Trump derangement syndrome that we're talking about here? Here, here's the deal. Um, I was explaining to somebody earlier today, and I forget what the conversation was. But they they were uh, slamming one of our buddies from group chat that uh, you know, like they were platforming white supremacy because they were sticking up for Nicki Minaj, and um, it's like. First of all, it was Kino, uh, film, you know, and he's uh, he's being accused by a white man of platforming white supremacy by sticking up for Nicki Minaj and not even saying like like what she said was true and we need to we need to listen to her and and you know look at her cousin's nephew's testicles and 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 compare sizes. You know, you know what? I, just, I, I don't I don't want to be on that research team, but, you know, I do want that research. I do want that research to be done, but I don't I don't want to be near uh, uh, testicles. I don't even want to be near my own. But, you know, I don't want to cut them off. But, uh, you know, I'm just not a fan. Well, of balls. OK, so I. I yeah, yes, you are. Because <laughs> the opening of your fucking show is nothing but balls. I've watched oh, yeah, that's it a, twice now when. For the, the show to go the on, <laughs> your little uh, miss, your Mister Peanut car, you know your your subtlety is not lost on me, my friend. I, Look, I, I, you I have like an fake balls. With that. Fake fake balls is one thing, right? I mean, like the the two the yeah. the two the two balls with the Nipsey Russells, you know, that was fun. And then the bull balls, you know, they weren't like I wouldn't do that to a real bull. Are you gonna grab a uh -huh. real bull's balls? Yeah, but you don't like. Yeah, yeah, but you don't like balls. I get you. Uh, I like fake balls, but not real balls. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what you did bastard. I sign on for? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, so, uh, so I tell this guy, uh, white guy accuses the black guy of uh, white supremacy, um, that, bro, to 
Tucker Carlson, Rachel Maddow, they're, they're fictional characters, okay? I say that they, they've had to admit that in court because they've been sued or, or whatever, uh, that they've had to admit that they are news entertainment. They're not really news. Right, right. And, like, so so I, 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 I have to explain it. Like, uh, I said, I said, it's pro wrestling. OK, right now, Tucker Carlson is a heel, which is a bad guy in wrestling speak. OK, and so then I provide a picture underneath that shows Tucker and Rachel both on MSNBC. Back when Tucker had his own MSNBC show wearing a bow tie and a young Rachel Maddow who Tucker gave her start to. And I said, to see in this picture, Tucker and Rachel were an up and coming baby face tag team. They were the good guys. Everybody liked them. But then when Tucker goes to Fox News, he's got to cater to that crowd. And, And so, I mean, who knows, man? Maybe the guy is a white supremacist. I don't know. He, he, but but the thing is, he is not exactly who he portrays himself to be. And and Keith Olbermann, like, there is no fucking way that. I mean, I watched that guy on Sports Center my whole life growing up. You know. And oh yeah, yeah. Me too. Like, me too. I mean, he, maybe he has lost his fucking mind, but I just have to think that he is selling a product. You know what I mean? Like, like, like that people have, like you said with Trump, man, the, the derangement syndrome, like they, they've taken that shit to 11, you know? And it, it just, it, it's, it, they, they blow it up to, be bigger than what it is because they're they make that's how they make their money would you agree oh yeah yeah well it's all about like hype and making people scared and the fear sells you know people if you if if you give you provide the fear but then you also provide the uh the antidote to the fear you know it's it's you're working both angles you know and it's uh so you're scaring the shit out of people, but then you're like, wait, 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 don't worry. If you do A, B, and C, then then you don't have to worry about the fear that we just gave you. You know that sort of thing. Um, I was just, okay. Uh, so that's yeah. Please that's continue. Chomsky's uh, fifth filter in manufacturing consent. You always have to give the audience a boogeyman to be scared of, both foreign and domestic. Yeah. Well, now yeah. they they they've and done the they've done the that's all they're doing. They did the foreign. Now they're doing the domestic. You know, so well, it's and, like and the, they're always doing the foreign. They're always doing the foreign. Look, look, look at uh, I, I mean, I mean, does anybody actually believe that Russia is going to invade this country at any point in time? Well, they did in the eighties. Uh, in fact, they made a movie about it, a documentary uh, well, called yeah. uh, I mean, Red Dawn. You may have heard of Red that, Dawn. Fact- 